Kyrie Irving has been in scoring mode the last two finals games, 30 and then 34, but Friday night only 3 of 10 in the final quarter of that Warriors win. Here is Kyrie with David Aldridge uh, with his season on the line Monday. Thank you very much, Kyrie. It's 3-1. Obviously, they're a different team without Draymond, but and I know you guys came here with the approach of winning a game. What has to change, regardless of what their lineup is, for you guys to get this win? We just have to constantly stay in attack mode, understanding that we have a game plan that we need to execute. Um, I feel like we did it in spurts in game three, I mean, excuse me, game four, and we just have to have that consistency in order to bring home a win. Did you think you wore down physically playing those big minutes against their constant rotations during the second half? I don't want to make any excuses. Um, you know, that's off-season workouts, trying to come into the season in the best shape you can and preparing for those type moments. Um, mind you, I've never played that, you know, straight in second half before, right. but uh, if I have to do it again, I will. So. Defensively, you guys did a great job the first three games finding Thompson and Curry. Um, how did they get freed up in game four, and, and what do you have to do to shut that down in game five? Uh, we just have to have our antennas up. Uh, our defensive awareness has to be a lot better. We did a great job in those first three games. In game four, they got loose. Um, they're great players, and we expect them to come out with a very, very aggressive mindset. And as they did, and they led their team to a win. So now we just have to take a step back and, and watch film as much as we can and then prepare for game, game five and, and limit those guys to the same opportunities they had in game four. Does, where does the pressure of having to win to stay alive meet the excitement of if we can get this one on the road we get to go back home in front of our home fans in game six uh, you try to play a little bit of both um, you understand that the the magnitude of the game you understand what they're fighting for and you understand what we're fighting for um, so it, it's going to be a very intense game but there's something you want to be a part of as a, as a competitor I was going to ask you about that last year obviously you weren't able to, to finish the series and I know how frustrating that was for you and I know you know you know all the machinations of how this team was put together do you feel that weight of LeBron came back, he wanted this group together to fight for a championship for Cleveland, and so it's even more pressure on us to try and deliver that? Uh, you, you, I mean, kind of repetitive to what I said before, you try to see it from both sides, yeah. understanding that Cleveland is yearning for a championship, and, and as well as our team goals and, and we're actually in you know in the fight every single day and you know coming to these finals practices coming to these finals games I mean we're fighting for the biggest dream of our lives and um, you know nothing's guaranteed but we understand that it's really really hard it's, it's really really tough but I wouldn't trade these guys for anything um, you know we're going to war you know we'll get ready for tomorrow's game is that that togetherness that you guys have displayed throughout the season and in the playoffs does that help you in a game like this when it's all or nothing Absolutely. It, at this point, it's just about will, will and skill, and whatever it takes to win a ball, a ball game. We have to have, we have to be there for each other. Kyrie, thanks for your time. Appreciate. It.